Hello viewers, welcome to our 11th session and we are looking at irresponsible sexual behaviors. We have mentioned a few. Uh, today class, we get to look at homosexuality. Homosexuality is another contentious issue, uh, a, a, a born of contention in the society, homosexuality. We are all supporting homosexuality. And as Christians, we still, and as people of tradition, we still say no to homosexuality. So if you are homosexual, you are not uh, welcomed in, uh, in our society. Now, we get to look at uh, what is the Christian teaching on homosexuality, right? So class, we get to define what homosexuality is and also the effects of homosexuality. As always, this is your favorite channel, Elimu TV, and your teacher is Roger Michira. Without wasting much time, let us look at homosexuality. So, and homosexuality can be looked in the uh, from the from perspective of uh, gayism and also lesbianism. So, these are problems that is arising in the society, right? And uh, and, and, and 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 basically in in, 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 in the African society, uh, homosexuality is very very not very common. But now, due to Western civilization, those those those, those Europeans have, have brought this uh, weird. Uh, uh, Irresponsible sexual behavior of gayism and uh, lesbianism. Now, what is it? This is the sex between this sex between people of the same uh, sex. For example, between a man and a man, and between a woman and a woman. So, between a man and a man is called gayism, and a lady and a lady is called lesbianism. Now, homosexuality is a common practice in the modern world. You could never hear homosexuality in the traditional African society, but in the modern world, due to Western civilization. Is very common, right? And also, it is a church problem. We have seen in church whereby we have got homosexuals uh, we wedding, right? We have seen lesbians wedding, right? There's another queer behavior that is uh, is developing the society, and uh, and and we can blame this to the Western Western uh, civilization, the Western uh, education, and all that. Good, you can see that. I said it can be between a man and a man. You can see. Right? Grown up men holding flowers, holding hands. That's immoral in society. Right? You can get to see ladies there. Right? Now they are the, the, husband, uh, the husband and wife. Good. Let us not dwell on that. Now, let us get to look at reasons why do we condemn homosexuality in society. Why is it condemned? Now, God created male and female. If you get to look at Genesis, right? The sole purpose of God creating man and female was for procreation. Right? So we get to wonder if, 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 if homosexuals, they procreate, right? And, and, and remember recently, recently in, uh, in Uganda, there are these, there are these gay, gay, gay men who were caught. Remember, in, in Uganda, it is condemned, right? So when they were caught being uh, in the act, and under Museveni's leadership, they were taken into custody, right? right? And, and, and President Mugabe, uh, not Mugabe, but... Um, they did a Museven, good, it was Museven. And Museven told them that uh, they will only be released from custody if, if one of them gets, get, uh, conceives or if one of them gets pregnant. Good. Those are tough measures in, in Uganda by Museven. And also the late, the late, uh, the late Mugabe was against hom uh, human, uh, homosexuality. Remember when President uh, Obama was uh, talking of uh, that African nations should, uh, nation should, should legalize now homosexuality? Right? What, what, Mugabe, what Mugabe told uh, President Obama? Right? Then come, and, come and, and, and I'll make you my wife. You see that? Now it is condemned. That is why God created man and female. They are created for procreation. That's the sole purpose. Right? So uh, we, we, we tend to wonder if uh, there is procreation in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in gayism and, and, and lesbianism. So another, an, another reason why we condemn hom you, you, uh, homosexuality is sacred. When something is sacred, it is something that is ordained by God. Something religious. Good? And also, homosexuality is a natural relationship, and it lowers human dignity. It lowers human dignity. It does not provide sexual fulfillment. Yes. Homosexuality does not provide sexual fulfillment. Remember, human beings get sexual fulfillment from the opposite gender. Right? So there is nothing of sexual fulfillment between a man and a man. Good. Let's get a look at effects of homosexuality. 
right? It's a threat to procreation. And as I told you earlier that the sole purpose of creation was procreation, right? So the issue of is a threat to procreation. So get to think, if, if in a set we get a thousand homosexuals, right? We, we, we won't have a generation, right? Because they, they, they cannot procreate, good? So it also, it also promotes HIV AIDS. Very common, it also promotes HIV AIDS and those STI diseases. Let's get to look for an assignment. Why is homosexuality condemned by Christians today? Why is it condemned in, uh, in the Christianity set up today? And also, why is it condemned in traditional African society? For reference, get to refer to evolve, uh, Christian religious education, the students book four, Cal be the third edition. And for more lessons, for more videos, for more classes, get in touch with us via our YouTube channel, that is Elimu TV. Facebook page Elimu TV and you can contact us via contact uh, SMS line on your screen. Thank you so much for your participation and stay tuned for our 11th session shortly.